hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore the blur tool so blur tool is in the toolbox here you can see this is blur tool so blur tool is uh, like any brush in Photoshop the blur tool wherever you paint it that area becomes blurred okay so you have a filter blur Gaussian blur it blurs the overall picture with a slider that's it and then put the value of the radius and you get the amount of blur applied to the whole picture but this tool I need to uh, you know move the brush and then constantly when I move the amount of the blur keeps adding uh, to it so the more number of times you brush it the more blurry the picture becomes so we have the strength by default it was 50 so uh, the amount was very subtle and we can increase the strength here to 100 it becomes more blurry so amount of blur can be controlled with the strength value there so you have sample all layers it works for a composited image when you have more layers um, and then you want that blur to affect across the layers then switch all uh, switch sample all layers and then this is uh, basically uh, pen pressure so the harder you press the bigger the brush size will be when you're using graphic pen tablet and uh, it's quite simple interface but I would like to show you something interesting here the darken and uh, it was generally normal I'll just go for darker let me zoom it okay and then you got this uh, okay so when you blur it you should able to see the the pores are completely lost here you should able to see that but when I choose the darken and then blur it's blurring only the skin part leaving the pores like that only it's not touching the pores why because that is the darkest part of that picture and it's giving a unique uh, effect to the picture if you could able to see okay so it's um, only affecting the lighter parts whereas lighten will you know uh, does opposite now earlier you have seen the black moles were clear this time only the white part is very clear and rest of the thing is getting blurred it's giving that nice glow sort of effect on the picture so that's quite interesting about this feature blur uh, the darken and the lighten the next one is the hue so uh, the the I mean you have different types of uh, features here uh, we have explored these features in different tools especially I think in color repra uh, replacement tool we have used it so what that actually means I'll, uh, is let's say uh, this picture if I take on saturation and then start uh, you know running this brush over this scar what's happening is the oversaturated area is getting blurred and less saturated area is not getting blurred uh, let's understand in a better way so what I'm going to do is I'll use uh, this elliptical marquee and then select this part of the picture and then go to the adjustments and choose hue saturation and then make that part to black and white which is less saturated okay now choose the blur tool and then when you start blurring okay when you start blurring this this is only blurring the saturated area it's not touching the uh, unsaturated part of the picture if you could see carefully I will go back to the snapshot sorry take a snapshot then come here take a snapshot now let's compare it so you should able to see this part is not blurred now that's blurred now see here not blurred not blurred it's not touching the less saturated area why because I've said the saturation should be done sorry blur should be done only on the value of saturation so color is also very similar to that so it only blurs uh, the colored area it doesn't affect your uh, 
overall picture but it somewhere softens your whole now you could see the sharpness of this scarf is um, reduced it's becoming more soft but it's not blurring see it's making it soft so it's very a quite interesting tool so this is sharp and this is scarf becoming soft but not blur there's a difference so using this tool is really you know um, a very nice way to soften edges or soften the part of the picture so right now i'm using a uh, luminosity luminosity is uh, nothing but the bright and dark so if you just run the brush here it does not touch the darker areas of the picture based on the light it is affecting basically you should able to see some part of the scars are pretty sharp because those are the darkest part of the picture so it's preserving that creases somewhere okay so it's not blurring but it's sort of making it into a different contoured picture so that's blur tool for you